welcome back to Brazil, everybody. So as you can see, Yvonne and I have done our best Brazilian makeover because as you will see in the upcoming weeks, Brazilian people are very good looking. True. True fact. There's a worldwide rumor about the beauty of the Brazilian lifestyle and the clothing. <laughs> I can confirm the rumors are true. So we are back in Sao Paulo, which is in fact the largest city in the southern hemisphere. Yes. More than 11 million people. And one of the results of this fact is all of the things we want to do, we couldn't get tickets till next week. Yeah, that's too bad. Every tourist attraction is very highly booked. <laughs> so in today's video, we have chosen to spend this time wandering around the center here, mm -hmm. as well as seeing some of our friends. We will see the best $3 you can possibly spend at a restaurant. Coming shortly for lunch, we've got a friend there. We have brought them a gift. Uh, and so lots of good stuff coming in this video from the very busy and very happening center of San Paulo. Now, as I said, we have been here before and I will confess that the first time we were here, in fact, our first video was all about, is Brazil safe? Is this, <laughs> are we too dangerous right now? Should we even be here? And so, can, I hope you guys can tell that we feel more comfortable this time hey, around. We chose to come back because we really like this place. Yes. The culture in Brazil is unlike any other place we've been. Uh, one of the facts of Brazil is very little English being spoken and yet simultaneous to that the easiest place to make a friend. Oh, true. When people learn that you don't speak Portuguese, we do say uh, now falo Portuguese. <laughs> means I don't speak Portuguese. Uh, when we say that, they get like a, a gleam in their eye and it's like a challenge for them. Like, oh really? And then it's a lot of sign language. They put their arm around you. Very warm and friendly people. So to be clear, the first time we were here when we were saying, is it safe here? Oh my gosh. We were not acting. Mm -hmm. It was a sincere concern That's but right. we were overreacting yes so we are in the center of the largest city in the southern hemisphere as you can imagine there is a homelessness reality as there is in any big city True. especially one of this size yes like super massive uh, 11 plus million but one of the things we've learned is there are areas a tourist should go and areas a tourist should not go mm -hmm. so one of the mistakes we made last time was the, oh dancing dancing in the street oh. <laughs> No, it's not taking <laughs> Welcome to Brazil. Thank you. Obrigado. Uh, uh, this will happen a lot in Brazil. People see the camera and they go, hey, make a video of me dancing in the street. So nice. So uh, lots of good stuff coming from Brazil. We've learned the tricks. We feel comfortable here. We are glad to show you this culture because the warmest people that I've met. Yeah. With, by the way, the most beautiful language. So, and they love to dance. Come on. Everyday dancing and drinking. <laughs> so with that, let's go to the greatest restaurant that costs $3. The best $3 you could possibly spend. And let's go okay. see our friend. Bye. Let's go. Oh, said Vai. Good one. Vai means uh, go, go. Good job, Ivana. All right. Bye. Playing chess. Okay. Okay. Free to play. Look, he's a chess player. Oh. oh, this is Topolov Shirov from the Linares. Oh, he's a pro. Chirove. Chirove. Can I play? Okay. With you? With me. With you? Maybe no. I think he's a pro, Ivana. I think he's gonna he's beat still, me uh, in 10 moves. Setting it up. He's still setting it up. Okay, guys, lunch has to wait because uh, Canada. Canada. When I see opportunity to play chess, I must from take. Ecuador. From Ecuador. Ah, okay, you live in Sao Paulo. I like here. Live here, okay, okay. Let's play chess. Okay. Lunch has to wait. Francais and po. Moi je parle bien français. Moi j'habite en France. Ah, France. Je fais la France. Pour ça, je parle français. On peut parler français si vous voulez. Ah. D'accord. I, I said I speak a bit of French and then I didn't understand a single word he just said. Fail. Okay, ça va. Let's play. Oh, look at that. Yes. He's oh my good. gosh, he's got, he's got, he's got uh, notation here. Oh, this is going to be an absolute he's disaster. Ten moves will beat me, but let's play a quick game. What's your name? Fernando. Fernando. Okay. Fernando. Uh, if I can stay alive for 20 moves, I'll be I'll be impressed. <laughs> <laughs> I think no. Uh oh. Check me. I got I got killed. Lost. Uh, one more. Okay, one more. 
black and white, white and black. <laughs> it's good, eh? Ivana, we might be here all day. Oh boy. Uh, Servicia? Servicia. Good job, Boston Pierce. Stay here all day. <laughs> Obrigado. Obrigado. I tell you what, guys. Uh, final score, one victory each. Although in the second match, he let me take back a move, which is a big favor. So he's a better player than me. I tell you what, all of this chessing has got me very hungry. I just worked up an appetite. So let's go to our favorite restaurant. All right, introducing the hottest restaurant in Sao Paulo. And you guys might be interested to see the eating style which is very typical here in Sao Paulo. Turtle bang. So the idea is you will stack up a plate. Oh, first things first. Chocolate. 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 Romania. Good. Shout out to our friend. If you guys remember, uh, last year we came here, made a video because we're just going around eating like we usually do. And when we got to the cash register, she took the bill and ripped it up. She said, for tourists, uh, you guys are coming here to my country, so you eat free. So I think it's Pakistan and Brazil, only countries that tourists eat free. Now, why we love this restaurant so much. First of all, the price is unbelievable. You can really not beat $3 per plate. And it's as much as you can stack up on the plate uh, in one shot. So you can't go back and refill your plate like a normal buffet but you can certainly stack up as much as you possibly can and it's really typical this type of restaurant in brazil and so i guess brazilians sort of invented intermittent fasting because most people here will stack up a huge plate and then probably not eat until tomorrow because it really is a massive meal and what we like about this particular all you can eat place is the food is actually so good so naturally for such a cheap price there are some out there that have you know very affordable food but it's more of a simple recipe the food here is actually so good and my strategy is actually a little bit of everything so i'm not afraid to put pork with beef with chicken with pasta with lasagna with potatoes with beef and rice with farofa quite honestly a little bit of everything because why not? The more the merrier, I say. So uh, with all that being said, let's eat. Instagram. Good one. Good. Good. All right, so plate one, you guys have seen. And plate two, actually bigger than mine, but a lot of salad on there. Salad, man. And... Farofa. Beans and farofa. It's really good. Rice, beans, and farofa. Um, Massive uh, Brazilian cuisine. Let's try and describe what farofa is. My understanding is it's just flour fried in oil. Uh, mandioca. Mandioca flour fried in oil. Yeah, which is cassava. Cassava uh, yeah, fried in oil, which honestly butter, sounds yeah. bad. But it's really, no, it's really, really good. good. With beans and rice, the yellow sort of powder on top, uh, it's a texture thing. There's a bit of flavor to it, but the texture is really good. Mm -hmm. To be honest, the first time I tried it last year, I was not really a fan. Same. But as I eat more and more and more, if I don't put it on top, something is missing. Absolutely agree. A Brazilian yeah. plate of food without this magical yellow powder, <laughs> um, it's just not a Brazilian plate of food. Yeah. And I want to be clear, I know this looks like a ridiculous amount of food. One, we're not eating until tomorrow. This is a one meal of a day. And two, guys, uh, genuinely, the food here is so good. The flavor is really, really good. It's homemade quality food. I love this place. The lady's super friendly. Five stars. Haven't even tried the food. I'm already telling you, six stars. <laughs> uh, now, that being said, Saoji, Saoji, Saoji. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Let's eat. Mm. Depois. Beijinho. 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 Vocês vão gostar. Obrigado. Obrigado. 
gave her chocolates, they gave chocolates back. <laughs> I tell you what, imagine having a friend that when we knew we were coming back to Brazil, we knew we should bring her a gift. And we can't even talk to her. <laughs> we don't speak Portuguese. So this is the nature of Brazil for us. People are so friendly, even if you can't speak the language. Yeah. We've never even talked to her, and we love her so much. <laughs> it's so great. Okay, it's like that. We got some dessert. Good. Beef, chicken, oh, French fry. <laughs> My goodness. Beef, chicken, mashed taters, pasta. Rice and beans and a french fry. <laughs> Perfect mix. Mm, the food is so good here. Very good. Very good. You got everything you need. I mean, so many varieties. I don't know how many varieties or type of food in the selection there. So many. Five stars. <laughs> Amiga minha que faz. 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 Amiga Instagram. Instagram. É o meu. Oh, it's meu. It's me. Ah, sim. Sí. Okay. Okay, muito obrigado. Uh, quanto? Obrigado. Até a próxima. Obrigado. The best. Muito obrigado. Thank you, thank you. See you again. All right, so same experience as last year. Same experience okay. as uh, <laughs> first time we came here. Try to pay, she says, you don't pay. She ripped the bill. <laughs> she ripped the bill, she crumpled it up and threw it away. <laughs> so nice. All right, the adventure continues here in the center of San Paulo. Let's go. I tell you what. What a difference one year can make on a city. Because last time we were here, Ivana and I were nervous and I think there was a lot more homelessness last time we were here, like uh, 11 and a half, basically one year ago. Uh, like I said, maybe we were overreacting and we were seeing things more negatively, but right now I am so glad to be back in Brazil. I'm super excited for this trip. And Sao Paulo seems to be on a much more positive note which is really pleasant to see. Uh, everyone in the center here is getting around. Lots of action. There's lots of places to have a beer and listen to music. Maybe we'll go for a beer soon. But I love just walking around here because last time we were here, it was a totally different experience. Partially our fault, but I think partially COVID's <laughs> fault, to be honest. I think COVID took a real toll on uh, every city in the world, but also this city. Let me tell you, we are out here, guys. We are in Brazil and we are back in San Paulo and we are out here because there's some feeling in Brazil, there's some energy of excitement for me. Uh, everyone's dressing very nice, everyone's wearing tight clothes, everyone's looking good and everyone is out here uh, enjoying the good weather. I say we go for a cold beer. I say we go for a cold beer. San Paulo is a city where the beer is cold, the weather is hot, and the people are too. Ayo! <laughs> All right, let's go for a, uh, a shopi, which is a draft beer. Tudo bom? Que manda? Tudo bom. Cerveja? Cerveja, qual? Spaten, original, original, é grande. Alitrão? Alitrão. Skol, Brahma, Boêmia. Skol. Skol. Obrigado. Ice cold, no? Oh yeah. Like frigid, like freezing. Ice cold beer. Here Yo, say what you want about Europe. Nice place. We like Europe. We like Romania. The beer is not cold enough in Europe. <laughs> they like it strong. The flavor is strong. Right. In Brazil, it's 
ice cold, like frigid. Yeah, I don't even drink beer and I like the beer here. It's so smooth. Yes. Let's go. Oh. I can drink the beer here, pretty smooth. Bomba, 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 caramba. Bomba, caramba. Now guys, like I said earlier, we have a bunch of plans. Uh, sky, walk, glass floor, uh, museums, and much more, but everything fully booked. Maybe the tourism is going back up in Sao Paulo. Because oh, the first open tickets are next week. That's right. Anyway, the adventure continues in downtown Sao Paulo. Feeling like a million bucks. Salud. <laughs> Salud. Cold! Mm-hmm. Frozen. Uh, what do you think, Ivana? Authentic Nike? Maybe so. I think they're fake. Made in Thailand. Yeah, I think it's fake. Hola. Hola. Toto Bang. Nike? Nike. Dang. Mm, real. Nike. Dang. Deixa eu pegar pra você Nike. Eh, quanto? 120. 120. Isso. 520. 520. 50. Uh, I think you can make it. Cinco. Oh. Not 500. It can't be. 500 is 100 American. Cinco vinch. 120. Oh. I thought it was 50. My Original. Portuguese needs work. Original? Original. I don't know. You think so? Original. Real Nike for 120. I think real Nike will be at the real Nike shop. <laughs> I don't think it's real Nike. 120 is not the worst price ever. So obviously guys, we came here for World Cup. One of the reasons we came here. Uh, World Cup is not here naturally. This is hey. the greatest team. Palmeiras. The best team in Brazil? Pa best team in Sao Paulo, please. We have we have Palmeiras and Vasco as our two. No, uh, but I'm telling you, they won the Brazil Cup this oh. year. That's what I meant. I understand. You're saying it actually is the best team this year? Yes. Okay, <laughs> statement effect. Uh, but naturally, the World Cup is not here this year. No, it's But in they have Qatar. FIFA Fan Fest in Sao Paulo and in Rio. That's right. Which is a double whammy for us. Oi. So we will be in both of those cities. Oh, let's check this out, Ivana. From the street seller to the real seller, this is a Brazil t-shirt for 35 reais. Oh, maybe from 25. Uh, maybe a partir means two. From? Like a pair. Oh, from 25. From, yeah. from 25. But this is not so bad either. For 30, yeah. for 34. This is not a football jersey, but... It would work for our... Uh, cheering for Brazil at the World Cup. World Cup. Yes. Let's go see if we can get a jersey for a decent price. Yeah. Let's go check it out. There's Guarana in it. <laughs> hey. There's Guarana. Guarana Antarctica. <laughs> and a black one. Oh, Ivana, should I get the black one? No, I like yellow and green. I like yellow blue. too. I like yellow too. We look to the bang. It's uh, it's Nike? Fake. <laughs> Nike. Você quer camiseta ou de time? Sorry, desculpa. Now, now falo português. Ok, ok, sim. Sí. Ceviche. Ceviche. No real. No real. No real. Ah, ok, ok. It's not real. No real. Ok, ok. Quanto? Quanto? Oh, quanto? That's for seven. Ceviche. Seven. Seven? Zero. I don't, really, I don't even know the numbers in Portuguese. Yeah, yeah. 70, ceviche, ceviche. Mm. Okay. Obrigado. Oh, round more. Nice. I like this. This one I like. It's a bit, it's a bit, it's a bit crooked though. It's a bit ghetto. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit ghetto. Uh, okay, put it here. Okay. Obrigado. Obrigado. Nice guy. Quanto? Uh, 70. 70. Quanto? Uh, 120, parece. É isso. Bom te ver. Ah, 120. 120. This is more better one. Yeah, okay. Yeah, this one is good. Okay, obrigado. Uh, looking around. Thank you, thank you. Tchau, tchau. Vamos lá, vamos lá. 
Okay, super nice guy. Uh, turns out the first guy was certainly being a salesman when he said it was real. The second guy was very nice. He goes, bro, it's not Aggie. I was like, there's no way. No original. But no hair. We have so few fake uh, products in Canada. My experience seeing if it's real or fake is, is, is zero. <laughs> so to me, everything's real. Uh, but stay tuned for the vlog where we buy a Brazil jersey. I'll probably buy a jersey, a hat, a scarf. We're going all in. Thing. To be clear, uh, Canada is in the World Cup. Uh -huh. I have played FIFA for the past uh, a week ago. You mean uh, games? In video games. Video games. We stayed in accommodation that had FIFA on video games. Okay. And since my couple hours of playing FIFA, I'm convinced Canada's a very good team. <laughs> so do you think? So Canada if, Canada, if Canada goes through, I'm cheering for them. But realistically, my number two team and my more realistic team, my more better team is Brazil. All right, FIFA Brazil. FIFA Brazil, let's go. You want a cabrinha? Si, por favor. Okay, guys. We made it. You want caipirinha? Maracuja? Maracuja. Si, si, si. Hola. Okay, tudo bem? Tudo bom. Ah. Dois caipirinha. Dois caipirinha? Sim. Sí. E 51 de pitu de queijo. Ah, uh, one maracujá. Maracujá caipirinha? Ah. Sim. Caipinga? Caipinga. Vodka? Uh, cachaça. 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 Oh, ah, uh, ah, uh, açúcar? Suco? Açúcar. Sugar? Less. No sugar. Less sugar. Açúcar. Açúcar. Açúcar? Less. Sem açúcar? Sem açúcar, sem ah, açúcar. Caipirinha de cachaça, maracujá, sem açúcar. Sugar free. Uh, just, sugar free. Just, just less sugar. Put ah, some, okay. but don't put so much. Não, não, coloca, não coloca açúcar, e aí você manda o açúcar e ele coloca. Ah, tá bom? Tá, entendi. Muito you. bom. Hey, thanks, bro. São duas ou uma só? Only one? Uh, dois. Dois. Thanks, man. Appreciate. Like I say, friendly people all around here in Brazil. Oh, look at this front row seats to the people watching. Uh -huh. And look at the sky, it's dark out there. The umbrellas are coming out. We need to buy one. Good day to sit inside and have a drink. Brigado, brigado. Okay, so we are now drinking a caipirinha, which is a mixed drink involving fruit, sugar, and a local alcohol called cachaza. Cachaza. That, that this is the word so Ivana can't say. I'm more Brazilian, but really, I cannot say Kasha. Ivana's less Brazilian. Kasha. So Typically, a very beach drink. To be clear, we are not on the beach. Storm, right? Oh yeah. When they make these drinks, they go brrr, with the ball of alcohol. Brrr, half oh, the glass. Oh my god. So typically a beach drink, we're not on the beach naturally, but we wanted to tell you about cachaza, which is alcohol made from sugar cane. It's already sweet alcohol. And they put sugar in the drink. Powerful. Powerful stuff. Now, we <laughs> wanted to show you something about the Boteco culture in Brazil. I'm not convinced this is a Boteco. This might be a proper restaurant. It's a lunches. Or a lunches. Somewhere in between restaurant and Boteco. I think so. But Boteco is on every single street corner. Mm -hmm. Typically they are let me say unrenovated. Right. A sign of a Boteco is tiles on all surfaces. So the floor, the wall, the bar, the bar back, everything just white tiles. Yeah, that's right. But a lot of people did say uh, on our last visit that a true Boteco should be dirty. The dirtier, the better. Yes. <laughs> and so we wanted to show you this because it's the best place to hang out in Brazil. Yeah. Everyone's super friendly and everyone's quite oh honestly having drinks. What do you think of this drink? <laughs> I feel like someone just punched me in the back of the throat. <clears> throat> Strong, right? <laughs> okay. I think I'll be on the ground after this. Oh yeah. Oh my god. Ooh, okay. <laughs> oh Jesus. Hola. Can I put uh, ex extra azúcar? Ah, here. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Very strong. Forte. <laughs> okay, Brigada. <laughs> oh my god. This drink is 
so strong. I got two sips and I'm tipsy already. And the taste is because, you know, Capirinha needs a lot of sugar and Steve asked for less sugar. Oh, oh, you asked for less sugar. <laughs> okay, I did. But I forgot how strong Cachaca is. It turns out. It turns out, Kashaza. It turns out the reason for the sugar is because it's 60% alcohol in this drink. <laughs> oh my gosh. I don't know if I can finish this. Woo! Go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> sip, sip, sip. Oh my gosh. Is it better with sugar? Oh! Yes! <laughs> Salud! The two biggest tours ever. We ordered one caipirinha and we're, and we're both panicking. By the way, maracuja is not the right food for this. It should be limao. Ivana wanted maracuja. I like maracuja. Caipirinha. I like maracuja. Suco de maracuja is the best. Suco? You mean jugo? No, suco. Suco? Suco. Suco, suco means juice. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Saoji. <laughs> Think you can sing after this. Oh, I'll be dancing tonight. <laughs> I'll be doing samba, speaking Portuguese. This is a proper caipirinha. Okay. <laughs> what makes it proper? No maracuja and lots of sugar. <laughs> you didn't ask for less sugar this time. No, I said give it a whole sugar, man. <laughs> okay. Mm, better? You gotta try this, it's so good about it. Oh, hey! Sauji. <laughs> oh, it's so much better. The first drink we got was a total disaster. <laughs> Come on, try this drink. Try this drink. Okay. Oh my gosh, he, he must be late for work. Much better. So good. Much tolerable. This one is so strong, you guys. Like, oh my gosh. Be honest, it's a genuinely bad drink. <laughs> yeah, this bad. one is so much better. Very good. I think it's in the sugar. And also, this is limao. But limao, maracuja. maracuja doesn't have maracuja the sweetness to it. Maracuja is passion fruit. Passion fruit doesn't have that strong... Limao is lime. Yeah, limao gives you sour, it gives you strong bite. It's, it really is better. Still strong, but much better. I will still maintain my theory. This is the <laughs> ultimate beach drink. To be clear, we are deep in the uh, concrete jungle. But the ultimate beach drink is a caipirinha, Limao. Let's go to Samba School tonight. Let's go. I got uh, dois. Como adianta tá lá? Dois. Como? Três. Três. Três caipirinha. Oh, obrigado. Your job, your shift finish. Good. Obrigado. Okay. Obrigada. Ciao. Okay, good. Oh, sim. Ai, muito banditi. Muito banditi. Muito banditi por aqui. Ah, sim. Thank you. Obrigado, obrigado. I don't know what he said. Do you said? Watch out for your camera. Fair. Okay. Okay, so this is our local grocery store. It's called Banco 24 Hours. No, that means 24 hour bank. It's called Mercado Extra. It's called Mercado Extra. So let's go show some prices and show some interesting facts. Did you know, for one, Brazil is known for having some of the best cheese in the world. Minas cheese. So Ivana is looking for Minas. The problem is, I don't know which one is the Minas cheese. <laughs> Just say to her, Minas oh. cheese. By the way, Minas cheese comes from Minas Gerais, which is a state of queijo mozzarella. No, 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 no. Let's get the Minas cheese, Ivana. Queijo prato lanche. No? Maybe, maybe no. Oh, oh my god, they got meat, they got meat, they got meat, they got meat. <laughs> I was always so excited about this. No, one. they're just small sausages. Oh, that looks like jumari. That looks like pork belly. This make, makes uh, Mix. things. Oh, oh my gosh. This Sausage and uh, pork belly. And chicken, not chicken. Yeah, uh, no, no, pork pork skin, pork belly, same, and sausage. Same, same. Okay, mixed okay, pack. What we get? Oh, it's called fish water mix, Ivana. Ah, okay, okay. This is a fish water mix. 
feijoada. If you don't know what feijoada is, stay tuned to our video. We'll show it again. This is the Brazil's national dish. National dish. It's interesting and uh, unique flavor we haven't seen before. Sim. Let's try to get some Minas Gerais Maybe you church. Ask the lady. Yeah. Hola. Uh, Minas queijo. Queijo Minas. Queijo Minas. Queijo Minas. Queijo Minas. Sim. Sim. Obrigado. 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 Obrigado a você. Obrigado. Oh my gosh. So the price here is 15 reais. It's like four ah. bucks. Uh, for what could be By the way. world's best or at least the world's second best cheese. <laughs> yeah, in the world's record, it's France, number one, number two. Yes. It's Brazilian cheese. The problem is in France, it costs you, it costs you 15 euro. Yeah. <laughs> Here? In Brazil, it costs you 15 reais, which is nice. By the way, we still gotta go to Minas Gerais because I heard the best botecos, the best cheese, uh, the best cachaça. Everyone. And we have a friend the there. The best food. And we have a friend there who yeah. said the nicest people as well. Oh, yeah, the best people. She said people. the best people. We don't know yet, but we'll see. She was pretty nice. <laughs> She's a great lady. And she said the best people are in Minas Gerais. <laughs> <laughs> so stay tuned for this uh, particular uh, Brazil trip because we will be going to Minas Gerais. Now, one thing I wanted to show you about the beers. This, is, this is a normal can of beer, 330. Or 350 mils. How many types of beer do Brazil have, by the way? Right. Brahma. But before we even get that far, Ivana. Brahma, Antarctica, and Sco. Uh huh. And uh, original. And more than that. But original. Brazil was big on these 269 mil small cans, which kind of goes hand in hand with their addiction to freezing cold beer. Because the bigger the beer, the more the bottom part is warm. See. Si. So for me, what I usually buy is an original eight pack. Original. And eight. how much is it? Eight times 269 mils, which is like a six pack of normal beer. Okay. But it but it's easier to keep cold and it's smaller portion size. It's kind of better. Uh, this one would be like, well, let's go check out and find out because there's no <laughs> there's no sign okay. that let's I can see. Let's go cash. Uh, good. Let's go. Oh. Oh. By oh. the way, shout out to Puffiletti. <laughs> so in Brazil they have this biscoito de povoldo from uh, cassava. So a lot of things are from cassava. Manioca. Including the farofa we saw earlier. See? It's very similar to mamaliga and pufaletti. Yes. Corn. Yes. This is uh, farofa and and uh, povilho. See, let's get it. From cassava. Get one, get one, get one, get one. So Ivana. That rain is coming. Oh, yeah. We're the only one here because it's about to pour rain. I will I will swim with you, Ivana. Uh, great first day in Brazil. Sauge. Cheers. Cheers to tiny beers. Saúde, everyone. Saúde, saúde. Mm. We're going to work on getting more Brazilian. As you guys know, our channel is... You're shivering. It's windy now. The rain is coming. <laughs> we need some time. You're literally shivering. Yeah. As you guys know, our channel is based on uh, local experience. We like to, by the way, who needs a sun hat when there's no sun? <laughs> Lots more good stuff coming. Uh, tomorrow will be a street party. Ooh. And by the way, Brazil must be the number one country for street parties. That's right. I think so. People are dancing everywhere. Because Even if there is no party, people dance on the street. Every weekend, there is a party. No, it's every day. Every day there's a party. Yes. Come on, every day. <laughs> All right, there you have it, guys. I feel like Yvonne and I have uh, absorbed the Brazilian spirit for one day. But C -c -c. we're uh, looking to absorb it more. Thanks for watching. Later, skaters. Bom